Good morning all. All right, I'm quite sad to be leaving St. Magnus Bay Hotel. Had a good laugh here, and it's been it's been really, really nice. Lovely, lovely hosts. Yeah, I'm genuinely a bit sad to be leaving. I think it's because uh, the trip itself has been very, very special. We might have a bit of weather today. All we've got to do now is a little bit more exploring down south and uh, get the ferry to Aberdeen. All right, we're all strapped on. We're all safe. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let's go. <laughs> Come on then. Bye bye, St. Magnus. Right, let's go and see what we can find today. The ferry is not till seven o'clock tonight, so we'll probably have, well, we will have all day to have a nosy around again. Met a young couple in there last night, really cool. We had a good good drink and that. Lived on Shetland all the life. We were just chatting away and having a good laugh at the local banter. And I was saying, I've come up through Orkney. And he's like, why? Why have you come up through Orkney? Those guys are shit, <laughs> you know quite funny um, we're talking about accents and that and he says oh you ought to speak to the people from Walsa Island which is a uh, w-h-a-l-s-a-y like Walsey they pronounce it Walsa they said uh, it, that's like all, all like cross between Russian and German it's, it's like really really broad and the dialect is completely different but also telling me like facts of the island um, I'd have gone on today, but he said, really, there's, there's, there's really no, there's nothing really to see. It's nice enough, but it, it, it wouldn't be worth you going. There's only a thousand people live there, purely a fishing uh, island. And then they've got the biggest trawlers in Europe there. And there's more millionaires per square mile, if you like, than anywhere in Great Britain. And that the amount of money that, that, that they make is staggering like for um, herring and mackerel once they'd set up for the season started down in Lerwick sailed round the little island and within six hours had pulled the quota for the year 50 million quid five zero 50 million quids worth that's like an exception this particular time just one well six hours for the year's work that's it done and then for the rest of the year just enjoy yourself so there's so many millionaires on there that it's just unbelievable he said a normal year they work probably two months and make the quota within two months and then that's it the rest of the the rest of the time's their own how amazing is that he said but there's not he says you could you could go to Walser and not see any form of wealth at all he says that no one you know, they still live, they're multi-millionaires and they still live at home with their mum and dad and there's just no, there's no flash, uh, although it might be changing eventually, there's no flash people at all. But can you imagine pulling that amount of money out of the sea in herring and mackerel? That's ridiculous. Ridiculously valuable. Obscenely valuable. The ships that they've got, the fishing vessels are like 35 million quid each and they own them, you know, outright because they make that much money. And they're all brand new as well. They'll, they'll probably do five years worth of work and then they'll scrap it in for the next one. And the scrap price will pay most of the next price. Unbelievable, really. Unbelievable. Right, I'll have to work, sweetheart. See you later. Come home from work. Right, we're finished. Done for the year, that's it. We've made, we've made 50 million today. <laughs> it's a bit rough out there. I, for one, could not wait to come back up. This might be a, a yearly tour for Wildbad. What do you think about that? A yearly summer tour to Shetland to witness the 22 hours of sunlight and this fantastic barren landscape. Oh, I'm really going to miss Shetland, you know. It's had a bit of an impact on me, weirdly. The people are just so friendly and nice and happy the guy was also saying last night that's where we went fishing chips yesterday that he also uh, backs up the fact that Frankie's is the best fishing chips on Shetland Islands 
So folks, if you ever come up, you want the best fish and chips, go there. Bit disappointed there were no gravy though. Fish was amazing. I think it was a big 10 ounce fillet of muckle haddock. Oh, just fell apart. You don't get fresher than this, do you? I'll tot up the cost of this trip for everybody at the end, just to let you know, to give you some idea of how much things have cost. You know, including your all accommodation, your food, um, ferries. I'll tot it all up and give a, a ballpark figure at the end. The plan when I arrive back in Aberdeen tomorrow, tomorrow morning, is uh, look at this. Is um, I'm going to ride down, it's, it's another nine hours from Aberdeen home and if I happen to have a dodgy sailing I'll be knackered so I'm going to stay halfway between Aberdeen and home. I think, uh, I can't remember where it is exactly now, North Yorkshire Moors or Kilda Forest or something, I've booked somewhere. So I'm going to stay there uh, tomorrow, should, should be there for mid-afternoon I'd have thought, all being well. And then the next day we'll ride home and then I'll be able to surprise my Georgia. I'll pick her up from school and surprise her. Thank you for all your comments. And please, if you've enjoyed this series, please do subscribe. This means uh, means so much to me to be able to come up and create something like this. It's in my blood. I still can't get over how good the roads are. Like, what a good condition, I mean. They're all in great condition. The South. Not a word we've said much during this series. South. I said it earlier and I'll say it again. There's something special about coming north. And especially coming this far north. I'm definitely going to look into the Faroe Islands. Walls of Ferry, there you go. I've been posting every day on Instagram as I always do for when I'm doing trips. Uh, so if you've not if you've not visited that yet, folks, just head over to Instagram. It's at Richie Vida. Um, follow me on there, and, and, and I post like real time um, photos and you know all my iPhone stuff. And I was saying on there last night, you know, it really doesn't matter where you go, which road you take, because every road and every junction takes you to somewhere else of equal beauty. It's just fantastic. Yeah, that must be walls are over there then. The richest isle of the Shetland Islands. There's a big old rainbow behind me, look. You'll be able to see it. You could be able to see it in a second. Get ready. See it? It's made me quite emotional at times being up here. And I don't know if that's partly to do with the fact that I'm all the way up here on my own, or if it is just this staggeringly beautiful deserted land that's just knocked my socks off. It is like being an, on a different planet, really. It's just. There's just nothing, no people, nothing. Ooh. Fingertips are getting a little cold, so I'm going to pull up and plug in. Is that feet are already hot <laughs> fingertips are warming and the little radiator around my belly is on I'm gonna need it when I get back down onto the mainland looking at the weather forecast this morning it was one degree uh, with a uh, real feel of minus five tingwall the detour. It's 
see, waving. Amazing. This is where I took one of my first pictures. Pulled up here, didn't I? Yeah, it is, yeah. I remember. What film shall I watch tonight on the ferry? You get a flat screen telly and films and all sorts on these North Link ferries. Very impressed. Yeah, well below Lairwick now, look. Glad we were telling me last night it's a 10 hour sail to Norway. It's a 12 hour sail from here to Aberdeen. <laughs> Ooh, that was grabbed hold of me a bit then. St Ninian's, St Ninian's Isle. Let's go there, let's go there. Oh yeah, hello. The beach at St Ninian's Isle is the most spectacular example of a shell sand tumbleo in the British Isles. Tombolo is a beach or a bar that links two islands or joins an island to a larger landmass. Occasionally, during wind-driven spring tides and major storms, the Tombolo is breached by waves and is impossible to cross to the island. Archaeological remains on the island date back to the Iron Age. The isle was inhabited until 1775 and is now used for sheep grazing. Wow. Pretty spectacular this is. What's that there? Is that a carcass? One of the crows just sitting on a sand. A bit of a sand dune. It's a sheep carcass, isn't it? Yeah. Dear. Oh. He pecked his eyes out. How on earth have you ended up down here? Oh. Look how quickly the weather's changed. It was sunny, very sunny when we just came down here. And now it's looking like someone's going to start. Let's get back on the bike and head further south. Bit of a workout. Come on, lad. Work in Sumbra Airport. Ah, oh, that's a runway in front of us all. Get the wind flag straight out to the left. We've all got to go across the bloody runway. <laughs> Look at this. It's a bloody runway. Cool. Look at that beach. How on earth is there a fish carcass there?
Well, folks, I think that might be the end of our exploration of Shetland. It's been absolutely amazing. It's just been beautiful. Oh dear. Shetland Islands. Come on, let's make our way back to uh, the ferry. Pretty special, you know, folks, pretty special. Thank you all for joining me on this as well. It's been a pleasure taking you around the great north. Thanks to the big lad as well for looking after me. Good lad. So to say I've absorbed quite a lot while I've been up here. I've done everything I wanted to do. It's, it's been everything I expected and more by a long shot. It's really, which look how nice that beach is. It's been really special. Well, I'm very, very grateful that the weather's not been like this while I've been here. At least I've had a chance to explore properly in comfort. I'll wrap this series up in a second, folks. Thanks to all my patrons and to all my sponsors for helping to make this series possible. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Come on now, Wind, give me a break. Well, Shetland, thank you very much for having me. It's been an honour and a pleasure to spend some quality time with you. Just been talking to a guy around the corner there and he said he's just seen some orcas in here. So I've just come for a look. A seal down there. See the seal? That's quite a few seals. Come on, boys. They're here. They're here somewhere, folks. People are getting excited a lot. Where are you, boys? Oh, there they are. Just saw them then. They're about here somewhere. Come on, put us a show on. There they are. Just out there. Ooh, it's lovely. Hey, look, look. Yeah. <laughs> what a beautiful end to this amazing trip. Seeing orcas in the wild. There's our ferry anyway. That's just made my trip. That was worth the hassle of bringing this lens. What a lovely end to an unforgettable trip. Well, folks, this is the end of this amazing series. Thank you very much for watching. This has been one of the most special trips, and I sincerely mean that, all the way up here to a deserted Shetland Islands. Right, big lad, end of the road. End of the road. Right, that's it everyone. Thank you very much. As we take our last couple of miles on the Shetland soil, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Please do give us a thumbs up. Please do subscribe. 
and I will see you on the next one. This has been amazing. Take care everybody, be good, be careful, and from the Shetland Islands, be kind. Cheers big lad. It's the same fella look that was uh, at the Orkney side. With a kilt on. Good lad. Oh yeah. Hello is it Rich? It is. That was on the dashboard. Oh, Thank on you. The right yep. That's your boarding card. There's a weather warning ladder there, so take care if I'm moving around. Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, cool to go on you. Yeah. Yep. If you put your, see your vehicle pass, put it under yeah. there or something. I mean, once you get on board, yeah. you just stick it under there so that if there's a problem, we know right away. Do it. We'll do, mate. Yep. Cheers. When you go on, just be careful as you get across the light span in case it's lit. Same place as the way in. Weather warning again. Two fifteen, eh? Job done, friends. Let's go and get in our cabin. Passenger with the motorbike. I'm the only one. <laughs> well, thank you, Northlink Ferries. Bit rough last night, but not too bad. Only the first half of the sail were rough. After about midnight, and it were all right after that. Well, big lad's still upright. Yeah. How are you doing? You're right. Big <laughs> Oh, mate, hey, bless you. Like oh, bless you. Thank you very much, mate. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, the big lad survived. And we're back on the mainland, back in Aberdeen. Where do we go? Paul, Paul nice to meet you. Okay. The first half of it, no. I did notice on the weather. <laughs> the second half, uh, no problem. Yeah. Like midnight onwards, yeah. we're all right. Yeah. I did notice last night the first part was going to be quite windy. Uh, good man. It's usually that bit between the Shetlands and all yeah. is because it's wide. Yeah, so yeah. Work at sea, so once you get back down level, sort of trying to grow it. Yeah. The wind is coming from the west, so protected by the. Yeah. yeah so. Good morning, folks. We're back on the road, and the sun's coming up, and we've got Paul here behind me. The sun coming up. Bit of a rough crossing. The first half of it were terrible, but then the second half were not bad at all. 
it's going to be a sunny day today, I think. Temperature 8 degrees. Oh, cheers to stopping to say hello, Paul. Appreciate that, pal. He's going to peel off home when we get near towards his house. And I'll just keep heading south. Look at this morning sky, look. Look at this sunrise. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Look at the cloud formations over there. And what a welcome back onto the mainland, eh? The sun has just cracked. Welcome to Angus, Scotland's birthplace. What a mega sunrise! Oh man! Didn't expect to be having that sunrise this morning. Lovely, you can't beat watching the sun crest over the sea, can you? Over the horizon. What a morning for, I can't believe it! What a welcome back! Thank you, weather gods!